delighted to speak to you today about the Thomas Jefferson draft of the Declaration of Independence, which certainly is one of the great treasures of the New York Public Library. The Jefferson draft of the Declaration dates from the days just following July the 4th, 1776. The New York Public Library is delighted to hold in trust one of these, one of the two surviving copies of a, a Jefferson draft of the Declaration. Uh, which in many ways could be thought of as a, an, an 18th century tract change document. As you can see, as you look at it, passages that were either changed or, or excised are underlined, showing uh, the changes that were then incorporated into the, the document as it was debated and ultimately approved. Perhaps most notable, uh, as you'll see, are in the list of grievances against the British government, you will see this underlined passage which denounces the slave trade, which um, is interesting, coming from the hand of Jefferson, who of course was a slaveholder. You see as well, there are only two instances of words being capitalized, certainly where it says the United States. Uh, here we have the country being, for the first time really, um, being noted as the United States and not just a collection of colonies. But notably, in the section with the condemnation of the slave trade, we have the word men being capitalized in relation or in noting um, the slaves in the colonies, uh, not uh, describing them as slaves or chattel, but rather as men. The declaration is um, written in, as I said, Jefferson's hand. It's in iron gall ink. The document itself is quite fragile. And as you would imagine, we take very good care of it, uh, as we do with all of the materials that we hold in trust, but certainly this is one of the great treasures of the library, and as I said, we're delighted to be able to show it to you today.